So one problem that we ran into with the toggle class is it had to remove after the animation ended. We had to click one more time to remove the class and then click again in order to animate it again. It'd be nice if the remove class actually happened as soon as the animation ended. So that's where this section comes into play, being able to trigger code after an animation ends. Now there's a few things that you have to do to set it up before you can trigger that code. And there's some code you have to get from the animate CSS documentation before you can do that. So we're going to go get that code and apply it to our project before we can trigger some code to run after an animation completes.